Hi Leo, my name's Haley. Welcome to my channel, Pleiadian Mystique. Thanks for joining me for your weekly energy reading. So if you haven't been to my channel before, I um, do energy readings. They are not date specific or time specific. You can um, reverse the situation. It's a you versus them scenario. It's not gender specific. Um, if you've been guided to this channel by spirit, there might be um, a message in here for you that your spirit guides would like you to see or know. So um, please take time to subscribe to the channel and read my description box if you want to get um, more information on my energy readings and how they work. Because I work different to other readers who may just read um, for the science. I do the energy. So it's a little bit different means that all of the different astrology signs can apply to your situation given if you're in that energy not necessarily the energy of your st st like star sign sun sun or rising um or moon sign so yeah basically if you'd like to book a personal reading the link is also in the description box below and any other information you need to get in touch with me is there so let's get started leo what's What's happening in your life? I'm sorry about the lighting as well this afternoon. It's a little bit dark in Sydney, so just have to bear with me there. But let's get started, Leo. Limitation, five of trees. So you're really thinking in a lack mentality mindset. You might be feeling left out in the cold by somebody, Leo. But it's definitely um, a sense of lack and limitation. There might be a lack of abundance of finances in your life right now or a lack of love. Or you're just not feeling emotionally fulfilled in your current situation. Like I feel like um, there could be a lot of options or love options around you, but I feel like none of these options are emotionally fulfilling to you. You're not feeling the click. You're not feeling the connection. It's like I'm being shown, you know, one of those Rubik's cubes and it's not clicking together. It's like you're spinning all the different combinations around and it's just not, it's not clicking together. So I sense that there is a lack of emotional fulfillment, which might also be causing a lack of abundance in your life. But there's something here that's just not working. And no matter what combination you try, the Rubik's Cube will not click into the right place. So it's like you're not clicking with somebody and you're not feeling that feeling of, yeah, this feels right. It doesn't feel natural. You know, when you meet someone and it feels so natural and it just flows, I just am getting a sense that this, no matter what you do in this situation with this person, it's not flowing. So let's get another um, energy card of what else might be in relation to this. So you're assessing this situation because I feel like no matter how hard you try with this person, you still feel alone because we have a nine here, which is um, my card of solitude. Nine, nine means solitude. So I feel like um, maybe it blew up like a hot air balloon as well because I'm being drawn to this. Something's blown up like a hot air balloon. So no matter how much life you breathe into it, how much um, effort you put into this, it's all hot air. There's no um, flame. There's no fire. There's there's no passion. It's just, it's just something that's um, blowing up and blowing up and it's about to pop and then come back down to earth kind of thing so i feel like um the best part of the relationship is over and now you're just waiting for the deflation stage it's just like no matter what you do it just deflates every time you try and um put in effort it just deflates so let's get a um animal card about your situation Yeah, it's time to let go of someone. You, I think you're realizing you need to let go of this connection, Leo. So it could be a current um, relationship in your life that you're realizing isn't compatible with who you are, not emotionally fulfilling, and it's just a lot of hot air. And everything, every time you try and pump energy into it, it just deflates. It's like, you know, when you have um, tires on a bike and you pump them up, you pump them up and then they're just flat. So something in this connection is flat and deflated and it's just not emotionally fulfilling. So let's get some more about the dynamic and see um, what else is coming through. Perseverance. Yeah, I feel like this could be the other person you're dealing with or you or the connective energy, like, 
I feel like the two of you have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to make this work, Leo, but it's just not clicking. And no matter how hard you've persevered, I feel like this is sweat coming off your forehead because you want this to work. You tried. You wanted it to click into place. But no matter how much you try and pump the tires up, it doesn't. It just doesn't fill with goodness. It doesn't. It just. It just deflates. So let's get a little bit more and see what this is in relation to what kind of connection we got here. The void, yeah. So it's like I was saying before, you are with somebody, Leo, but you still feel like you're alone. You still feel like you're in solitude. And no matter how much you try and um, feel emotionally fulfilled, you still feel lonely in this connection, which is really sad because it's like, that's like the worst kind of relationship I find because it's like um, no matter how much you want to, yeah, it doesn't feel like home. So this is, the energy of the animal spirit that you're you're trying to build a home or make this person feel like home. But what I'm getting from this is no matter how much you try and burrow into the ground and make a home for this person or situation, you still feel like this isn't working or you're not good enough or whatever you try isn't good enough for this person. And you're feeling like left out in the cold a little bit in terms of like, it's just not working. So what are you going to do about this, Leo? What are you going to do? I don't know why I feel like it's that card. Okay, so this is like the Tree of Life card. I feel like you have grown, outgrown each other. You and this person have outgrown each other. You've outgrown the connection. You've outgrown the situation. Whatever it is that you're currently facing You've outgrown this person. Um, if you're a masculine, you've outgrown this fe feminine. If you're a feminine, maybe you've outgrown a masculine. But basically, you no longer feel what maybe you previously felt for this person. And the connection, I feel, has blown up like a hot air balloon and is now coming back down to earth. And it's about to crash land. <laughs> Two cards here of growth. Crazy. So... <laughs> Well, like, um, I feel like you've maybe learned all the lessons you were supposed to learn karmically from this person. And maybe that's why they were brought into your life because it was a karmic lesson. And it was just a relationship or a connection that you were supposed to grow and learn from. And I think that the purpose of this connection has um, served itself. Uh, yeah, it was meant to teach you to use your mind more wisely. So I feel like it was to teach you how to think clearly or how your, or maybe you learned how your thoughts create your own reality and you've definitely grown like up from this connection and I sense that that was a, a big part of the lesson is um, to use your mind a little bit more wisely and make better decisions. Spirit has your back. So spirit brought this connection into your life to teach you to use your mind more wisely and for you to grow on a soul level. So that's beautiful energy. So let's get one more card. <laughs> love. I think it was to, to teach you to grow closer to love because we're all humans having a... We're all spirits having a human experience experience to grow closer to love and I feel like you didn't grow love in this connection and you may have chosen this person for the wrong reasons and I, I don't sense that you love this person I sense that you know because there's I, I feel like there's a lack of love here a lack of emotional fulfillment um and there might be someone else who has your heart but let's um get one more clarifying card here to see what this love is about Um, I feel like it's the power of love. Um, there might be a divine feminine energy that you're connected to that you're in love with, um, but it's it's not this person. So if this is a divine masculine I'm connecting with, you might be realizing that the feelings and connection you have with another feminine energy in your life um, 
might be stronger and pulling you towards them and it might be you know might be time for you to be fearless and bold and move towards this connection. So I feel like you have feelings for somebody else and not the particular person you're connected to now. You don't feel this type of love for them. You don't feel at home with them. And I feel like that's the revelation that you're coming to. So what's Spirit's advice for you now that you're coming to this revelation? Trust your own understanding. So this is like your intuition, your own understanding. So I feel like with this card, it's all about um, you know what you need to do that's like for, for you. Um, so the Spirit is saying, trust your own understanding. Whatever you feel intuitively needs to be done is correct. And I feel like the guidance here is trust your own understanding and be your best self always. So put your best foot forward, make the right decisions for you in order to be the best version of you. And maybe um, you, you are needing to grow up possibly in order to become the best version of yourself. And I feel like that's what the purpose of this connection was, was for you to grow, to mature emotionally, mentally, to be ready for this type of love um, and push through and persevere, I think, or out of this darkness and step more into a person who is ready for true love. All right, so I'm going to take this over to the extended and see what else I can get for you, Leo. But all the best moving forward, and I hope this gives you some sort of clarity about where you're at. Have a beautiful day. Bye.